Hello and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is Luxembourg's Lux Invicta. We are uh, just wrapping up the Balkans here and then we're gonna... Balkans, sorry. sorry, Fighting off some naval invasions. And then we're gonna turn our attention east. Start plowing through Japan here. <clears throat> so let's get to it. We are abandoning Norway. I've decided that it's not worth, not worth it. There goes Croatia. Nice. There goes Slovakia. Sorry, Slo yeah, it is Slovakia. I keep saying Slovenia when I mean Slovakia. I have a very active uh, Slovenian subscriber, so I know he'd be annoyed if I keep getting that wrong. <laughs> so I must try not to. We're just plowing through here. These guys don't have the divisions to stand up to me <clears throat> at all, so shouldn't be a problem. Where are you trying to go? You're on this front. Okay, well, you can go us in Rome. Anyone else on this front? In this area? Doesn't look like it. There's basically no one down here, so I think we're just, uh, it's just a matter of storming through, really. How are we doing over here? Oh, yes, I didn't actually assign anyone to this front. Alright, you... The local port garrisons can deal with this. That should be enough troops. Not enough to totally cover the front, but hopefully enough to to win it for me. How many guys do I have down here? Eleven. That's probably a bit too many. Let's put some of these down here too. We're training a bunch more, aren't we? Yeah! In five! With the glorious Laurel. She's telling me... Oh, they did invade the East Coast! How dare they? Well, I'm glad that I sent these guys to the center of America to be ready for this. This would have been disastrous if I had to sail people all the way over from the continent in order to uh, deal with these guys. Naval Invasion in Northern England. Probably going to fight that back with Garrison all this area. Oh, we haven't Garrison Scarpa Flow, though. Well, Edinburgh doesn't have a naval base, so let's not Garrison that in favour of Garrisoning Scarpa Flow. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, Newcastle isn't Garrisoned either. Uh, there's two of you there. One of you can come over into Newcastle for me. Okay, yep, yeah, still just ploughing through here. No real resistance being shown. The tanks are storming the way. Leading the way. Panzer Elite. Awesome. It's encircling some of these guys here. Let's just uh, polish off this little pocket here. Not quite a pocket yet, but uh, hopefully will be. Looks like it's going to be a pocket before there's really anyone in it. <laughs> these guys are going to be in it, though. You can take them out. These cav can probably take them out of that low organisation. Not quite, but they can hold them long enough for these guys to arrive. That's uh, good enough. Free military factories. Um... Tanks? Can I have a second tank army? What am I short on? It's basically just heavy tanks. Sorry, modern tanks. And obviously you can't have too many fighters. But we've got so many fight tanks on fighters. Let's put got then again, we have so many fighters on modern tanks too. Let's uh let's boost these up to, to max, shall we? Not quite good enough to do that, but let's do this. There we go. Modern tank. Mark 3, and we're going to make the Modern Tank Mark 2 obsolete. So I can make sure I switch them all over. Just give me a second. It's odd that it slows down when you click it. I mean, what? Is it that complicated to assign 15 factories to a different production line? It's odd to me. But that, that causes it to have that little hitch there. But, ah, uh, well, we make do. We make do. Losing some production efficiency here, sadly, but because we went the correct industrial technology, which as everyone knows is the uh, disperse. We do have some better ones. So, uh, more fighters. Maybe some more fighters. And some more strategic ones. There we go. Oh, there goes Legion Romania. There goes Hungary. Nice. They're imploding now. The Axis are in full retreat. Just finish them off for me. Come up here. And down here. Wrap them up. And the ever-increasing military police frontier is becoming absurd. But uh, let's garrison up this area. I think I'll garrison some un as yet untaken territories in anticipation of its imminent capture. There we go. Oh, missed one in the centre there. Oi. Garrison that one. There we are. 
More military factories. I guess we just put crazy amounts on modern tanks. Well, actually, let's put... Uh, let's put one line each of all this extra equipment. Just put one full line of all of this in. Just so that we're full on this stuff. And let's make sure infantry equipment comes first. Because... Uh, this is the stuff that if it runs out, you're suddenly in a spot of bother, shall we say. Sorry, this is this again. Why is this a complicated maneuver to the extent that it's slowing down the game? I don't know. Oh well, there we go, all done. Okay, plowing through here. Some Turkish divisions appearing. The tank elite is reaching the front. There's nothing you can do against them. Alright, let's close these pockets. Intrusions here and there. We've cleaned up Italy, which is always good. You guys should uh, take to the ports, probably. Will you be there? Gonna need these ones too. There we go. How are we doing down here? Probably AI can handle demolishing those guys. Yeah, definitely. So much so that I think I can take some of them off onto port defence already. Alright, the Northern Balkans have already fallen, so we don't need those guys to stay there. Let's move down to here. Not overload the uh, bases. So what do we nuke next? Probably Turkey again, right? I'd like to save one nuke, just in case Turkey really heavily garrisons this province. Oh, that's right, we have guys in Turkey's east. Well, <laughs> roll them over, boys. There's no one over there defending against you. For some reason, the Turks have decided this front doesn't matter, so we shall show them why they're wrong. Short on, hugely short on chromium as always. Oh, a bit more to be imported from Cuba. Even though we're producing 1,200, we're short on chromium. There's loads in Turkey though, right? Yeah. Well, loads. A couple of hundred. You'd think it was loads, but uh, the rate we're using this stuff... No, stay out. Ooh, that's some uh, some good mountaineers you've got there. Can they face a two-pronged assault? Yes, they can. Those are some good divisions they have just there. And they've got the defensive terrain. Once my guys get organised. They're probably not going to get organised. They're just going to win. Hey, sorry about that. <laughs> just knocked my microphone over. Alright, unassigned divisions. It's another tank. Huzzah. Sent him down here. Why aren't all the tank divisions assigned to this? Where are the others? Ah, oh, yes, that's right. I sent one over to deal with this, so naturally the game has assigned hundreds of them <laughs> over here. Just wrap that up, and then they can all go back over. Flying through here. Actually, we could do with a, a tank push here, just to speed things up. So let's... Let's take this front line, put some tanks on that, activate that, just to rush across Turkey. And then I guess we could take out North Africa as well, but it would take a while. Oh, yep, yeah, these guys have decided to go home. Don't finish the job you started or anything, boys. <laughs> just delete the front line and then go home. Brilliant, brilliant plan. Alright, let's pull back these guys to help clean that up. Rush their ports so that we can actually inflict some casualties here, I think would be the strategy I'd like you to go for. And encircle them wherever we can, as always. Excellent. Why are there three of you down here? Ah, oh, two of them are cav, sure. That's what I was going to do. I was going to tell these guys to guard, not forts, ports as well. Look at all those move orders. <laughs> it's crazy. Make sure Germany is on gentle occupation. Everyone is on gentle occupation. We do not want to deal with more resistance than we have to. So I guess we push to the Suez and hold that. Seems sensible.
Ooh, they're trying to get in behind us. How dare they. The tanks shall show them the error of their deep ways. And circle them up here. God, these tank divisions are such good fun. Fast moving, super powerful. There's advanced rocket engines. Nice, now we can use these crazy ranged missiles. These are the kind that you can build anywhere and just nuke anywhere. So, hi Japan. How do you feel about being shot by a lot of missiles? Right. <laughs> So the other thing we need to deal with, of course, is, is Japan. <laughs> they've uh, they've rather a, a lot large amount of territory over there. Ten guys, Ten ten guys should be enough to hold this northern front. I don't really intend to push through China. There's not much point, to be honest. Let's take you, 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 and you. Send you all to try and hold this front as well. problem in Greece? Well, push then. Once you capitulate them, there'll be no surprise issue. New tech. Better radars? Not much point. Better rocket artillery. We're already doing that. Might as well finish up. Close this trap here. Wow, we're losing. The Bulgarians are strong. And we've got very low organization. But no, there we go. One tank division. Wiping them out. <laughs> Feels good, man. New guys deployed, another tank division. So it's time for a second tank army. We'll make him green. He'll need a general. He can be responsible for... Where do I need to push? Sweden. He can be responsible for taking out Sweden. 24 tanks would annihilate Sweden. Do we have enough for some more modern tanks? Yes, but not many. And yeah, actually, let's not have a German in charge of this one. Let's put another field marshal. No, no. If we're going to do that, we might as well put them in the main army. But let's give him, let's give him some support. Oh, they've landed. Get them. Get them. Hello, they're holding Messina. Oh no, they're not. That's a boat. Nice. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. There we go. <laughs> tanks, where are you going? Tanks, tanks, tanks. This is your front line. Act like it. Planes are still helping over here. Let's move some over to the Eastern Balkans. At least help fight them. How many planes do we have? Not many. Another 200. Let's get another 200 in the air. Whoa. <laughs> I guess just any fighters will do. There we go. Let's see if we can push down Istanbul. If Istanbul falls and Ankara falls, they're pretty much done. They've got pretty low national unity. Why did some of those blue tanks come down here? So when I box select them, they went off this line. Or were they over here? Did I accidentally just select the whole army? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, you guys. This front line. Just rush Istanbul. I believe. I believe we can do it. Look at that. Look at those numbers change. It's just so fast with tanks. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Bulgaria has capitulated. Nice. Encircling a bunch of their troops. Allowing for easy annihilation. Should be no tanks assigned there. This is your front line. Act like it. Just plowing through up here. Quite a lot of them just there. Can we encircle them, maybe? Hey, Ice Pilot Promoters. Nice. Air Supremacy has been gained up here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Did I invent synthetic refineries yet? No. These are all building still. There goes Istanbul. 
Even when they have tanks. It's just, nope, nope, melt. <laughs> I knew they were going to do this. They always defend just here some, for some reason. It's tactical. I feel like that's not the reason, because they're AI. <laughs> Can we push across? Even with the river crossing? No, see, river crossings are where it hits. 99 minus attack. But, with enough tanks, enough of a preparation bonus, we shall overcome. Just finish them off first, would you? Oh, the, the speed the attacks are won. It's just a thing of absolute beauty. Scotland Naval Invasion? No. Eastern Canada? Oh, yeah, that's right. I should deal with these guys. All right, you go down there, and you go down there. I should occasionally just check the world. Like, any crazy naval invasions? No. They're not pushing over here, which is interesting. <laughs> Maybe they know how worthless Siberia is. So our heavy tank deficit is a problem for our infantry. I think I've been foolish. I shouldn't have switched straight to modern tanks. We should just switch a bunch of these to the heavy tanks. Oh, that was self -plus. that's I shouldn't have changed them. Okay, just change, a, change six of these to the heavy tanks so we can maintain our infantry divisions. Because we really shouldn't be just allowing them to fall into us. Because we don't, we probably don't need to replace all of our divisions with heavy infantry divisions. So with, uh, with modern tank divisions. It's just superfluous. Wow, the British Raj has no land and they've still got loads of troops over here. Hey, we shot down one of their aces over here. Nice. Let's extend this front line down to uh, Moria. There we go. Cool. How close is Turkey to capitulation? They are 87% of the way. Tank rush the capital. <laughs> so now these guys have got some preparation bonus. Can you cross? No. Maybe once they have max preparation bonus, but even then it's going to be tough. This one. There we go. Oh, another naval invasion over here. Or maybe this is the same one. But they appear to have run out of organization. So now they're dead. There we go. Make sure we garrison all these ports this time. Mm, no, that was wrong. I guess I'll take these guys to do it for me. Obviously, I want this guy actually in that one. There, there, there. 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 Did I just leave one empty? No. There. 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 And there. Okay. Let's have them spread out over there. Got low supply somewhere. Oh yes, in here. They've pocketed me. How dare they? The imp impudence. Well, empty provinces. Push in, push in, push in. Marvelous. The last resistance in Europe here won't stand long. Need all these guys. There they go. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> don't delete all the orders of the uh, military police. Oh, hello. They naval invaded, and now they have no organization. Love it when the AI does that. Just just free kills, basically. <laughs> wow, look how many of our convoys get raided when we sail these uh, military police back. Even with total naval supremacy. Oh, it's because they're all being raided from the air, yeah. Ah, oh, well, I guess. Can you push across? They can. Well, it says they can. There, it looks like they can. Nice. I'm amazed that you haven't capitulated yet. I took your capital. Come on, Turkey. There you go. 
giving us a whole bunch of light tanks and some fighters. Did that say 2k fighters? I don't believe they gave me that many. No, it gave me none. Those screens lie, incidentally, uh, which irritates me. It says we're winning. We are winning. He's encircled, so he'll... Uh, not encircled, but he's got nothing left. Wrap up over here. And we're going to push to the standard line that I defend, which is like something like this, or possibly this. Yeah, looks good. These tanks can do the same. Quite hard to activate when you draw them on top of each other. Can you press activate like that? Mm, looks like no. I guess I'll have to give them a slightly different front line. But the retaking of Syria and the Levant shall have to wait until next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching this episode of Luxembourg's Lux Invicta, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.